Everybody, this is Jan from Real World's Value Add Podcast, and this is a bonus piece of content that is not on the main video for the recording with my father, Jan C. Childress, comic book veteran, four-time Tai Chi World Cup champion. Uh, I had forgot one question that is actually incredibly important for the foundation of Real World, and that question pertains to his time working with Jim Shooter at Valiant, at, at Defiant, excuse me, Defiant Comics and on a title called The Good Guys. Now we go over this in the podcast already, but one thing about The Good Guys comic in particular that my father wrote with Jim was that the comic itself did something that was unprecedented at the time. They crowdsourced heroes, which is of course what we're doing with Real World, what we're doing with Justice for Hire, in particular our first show where we are building a community, a cinematic universe of heroes. And this comic book, Dad, if you could tell us a little bit about how uh, the good guys came to the concept of, of pulling a hero from the fans, from the fan community, and uh, bring them into the comic book world. Well, it was, it was really fascinating. What we did was we crafted the comic book. We had the story. And we had seven characters. And we wanted to find, we wanted to throw out a wide net and ask kids, because the good guys were kids who had um, happened upon a device that transformed them into a superpowered beings. And so, so we had the characters in mind. And what we did was we held a contest and asked kids to, across the United States, to submit essays um, naming their characters, their powers, and telling us why they ought to be heroes and what heroism meant to them. And so we sent this out and we got a ton of responses. And I remember, I remember Gray, who was the artist, calling me up one day and saying, I found Zach. Zach was one of the characters. Zach was actually the youngest character. He said, I found Zach. And he sent me, he faxed to me, um, because at that time we weren't using the internet. He faxed to me Zach's this, this uh, kid's essay. And sure enough, he was exactly what we had envisioned in creating the character of Zach. And Zach was a wizard, ultimately the most powerful of the uh, good guys. But Gray nailed it. And it was throughout the seven characters. In each case, we found a young person who fit exactly our concept. The interesting thing about this was in the end, we actually found eight kids whose essays we fell in love with. Well, we only had seven characters. So we went with the seven and then wrote a new story to add this eighth character. It was, it was great. It was, um, it, was, um, it was almost eerie that we, in a vacuum, as much of a vacuum as a creative, um, group can be when we're just um, creating from um, a blank slate. It was uncanny that we found live individuals who fit the characters that we shaped. Just uncanny. So th this, this is amazing. I think I, 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 I misunderstood what uh, what the good guys was doing. So it wasn't that you crowdsourced one character, you crowdsourced everybody. We crowdsourced everybody. 
So that's the only one. The only ones we didn't crowdsource were the parents. <laughs> parents are easy. <laughs> so that that that's spectacular. I mean, like this this yeah. it, you know, especially when it comes to what we started doing with with Justice for Hire. Uh, obviously, like you, you and I, like you started writing the Justice for Hire comic based on my my short films in college, and or in high school and then college, um, mm -hmm. but. Uh, you know, stemming from there and saying after years of going through the Hollywood game and, and realizing that, um, you know, going that route was not the way to go for JFH and then and going to the startup world and trying to figure out how to to make movies and shows with the community, uh, with our real world technology and not having the, the tool set in place. The technology didn't exist. We had the processes, but not the actual tech. Um, and taking that step to say, you know what, we can do this without actual technology with just the processes because and I didn't realize it was already ingrained in me personally from watching you uh, it must be unconscious to say hey you know what we're just going to go to the crowd and we're going to have them come up with their own heroes as long as we provide the storytelling model so yeah. like, if you were you were essentially saying hey tell us why you know, what heroism means to you, Justice for Hire started out, uh, the, this iteration of, of a crowdsourced cinematic universe started out with just saying, hey, um, shoot a video of why you're the hero to hire, why, and, and you can join the community. That's all it takes. And, you know, I started doing, just promoting it on Instagram. And, and, and that's how we built the community from Instagram with no app. You know, everything was happening on, ca on chats on Instagram that we call cast chat. We still have those cast chats, but now everything's on our app. So this is just, it's, it's, it's amazing to me that you would, you would be in a position as a company as well that would Defiant creatively and also from a, a, a company standpoint that, uh, that, you, that the team would be so open to uh, intellectual property created by or uh, enhanced by the, the, the audience, by the fans. And I assume that, that the, a big difference for us and, and and what you guys are doing is that I assume that the characters you created, you created the models for, that the kids then wrote the essays and filled those models, those molds, um, that Defiant owns those characters, correct? Yes. So Yes. Yeah, the other difference is that um, we had a finite universe. We had a finite universe of seven characters. We expanded it to eight. We were forced to expand it to eight because we couldn't uh, reject the the eighth uh, one of the one of the eight. We we just couldn't. Um, but but that was the big difference that we. Of course, we didn't have the technology, but uh, that's got nothing to do with the with the um, creative energy and the imagination of the of the crowd. Um, it was simply the technology. It was simply the um, that we had a universe yours is more yours is more universal well, that's a big difference yeah the, the the fans own their own ip on ours the fans uh, own their yeah they're not they're not um uh, they're not restricted to what we imagined as this group of seven good guys which was expanded to eight well, well, well the, the, thank you so much for, for sharing this because this is the, this this kind of blows my mind a little bit because uh like I said I forgot this question on the main podcast and I, it, it hit me really hard because I was like uh oh this is I again I thought it was one character that you crowdsourced so to find out that you ca crowdsourced the entire cast uh, and you you talked about it so much when I was a little kid but I didn't process it consciously um, of what you were doing. It, it's, it, it blows my mind now, uh, you know, Jet drew this little JFH ah. uh, um, art. So it's, you know, th th thank you so much for, for you know, for, for, for really being at the foundation of everything we're doing and, and, and the foundation of my life, Dad. This is like, this is a big deal. I love you so much, man. That's a, like, love you too. I'm going to press, I'm going to press stop on this. <laughs>